13.8 billion years ago, the universe as we know it today was nothing but a singularity, a very dense and very very hot mathematical point with no dimension, that point's inflation caused space to stretch and carry matter with it, that event is called the Big Bang and it marks the beginning of our universe, but our current knowledge is limited to 10 to the power of minus 34 second after the Big Bang. There is a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. So what happened before? Well, scientists are divided. Some believe that our universe is the result of another universe's collapse, in the sense that an expanding universe eventually reaches a point where gravity wins over and it collapses back in on itself. It then reaches singularity and reverts into a newer, different universe. That process will be eternal and is known as the Big Bounce. Others base their theory on the existence of black holes and white holes. Black holes being regions of space that have such intense gravitational fields that nothing could escape them. And white holes are defined as time reverse black holes. So, a black hole in another universe will attract matter that would then be gushed out from a white hole in the other end of the funnel, and another universe would see the latter day. Another very interesting theory is one that believes in the existence of one grand inflationary soup where smaller universes sprout out like bubbles as a consequence of the parent universe's inflation. As for string theory, it suggests that we are living in a superposition of dimensions and universes called membranes. It is the collision between these membranes that sets off a Big Bang. So what exactly happened before the Big Bang? Or rather, what caused it? Truth is, we don't know. Each one of these theories is flawed in its own way. But we could know at some point in time, by the unification of Einstein's relativity and quantum mechanics. But perhaps, perhaps we will never know. Perhaps nothing happened. As Einstein said, the singularity is infinitely dense, so there's simply no time and hence no before. Or perhaps our human minds just can't conceive nor understand what could have happened since a singularity doesn't abide by our universe's physical and mathematical laws. But rest assured, what we know though is that after the universe cooled out enough for atoms to form, an enormous cloud of gas and cosmic dust called the solar nebula condensed and formed our star, the sun, which ultimately formed our planet, the earth, and billions of years later, us. We are made of cosmic dust, stars that once shone bright. We are celestial, and as Carl Sagan said, the cosmos is also within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the cosmos to experience itself. Let's keep observing.